Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and today I will be showing you how to convert your images into a vector on your mobile device using Pixar. You just want to click on the plus icon and from here you want to add a new canvas and we're going back with the white canvas. Oops, there is an advertisement once again. Just want to add a photo and just like the previous one, I'll be using the recent manual that I've read. There we go. And then we're converting this image into a vector. There we go. Click on apply. From here, you just want to go to effects. And then from effects, you want to click on sketch. And then click on sketch one. And then as you can see, it's going to show you those horizontal lines right there. I don't know why it's doing this to my photo, but if you're if you have a photo, uh if you have a different photo not like this because this is already a drawing and reconverting a drawing to a drawing once again, you will have a different result. Just click on anything here which suits you the which suits you the best. And let's just say this one. There we go. Oops. Make sure to make the horizontal into zero. And then we want to make sure the black and white is set to 100 and for the line you can either pick 50 or any higher or lower value but I'm going with 50. Click on apply. And from here you just want to click on draw. Click on brush. Make sure that it's this solid solid thing right here. You want to match the size. Click on whatever color you want but I'm going with white. And you just want to trace, oops, it's too large. Okay, there we go. We just want to trace the whole body of our character. And then that's pretty much it, how you can convert your photo into a vector. It's what I've told earlier, it will vary from different photos that you are going to add. As you can see, I already posted a drawing and we're going to make the drawing a vector once again. So it's most likely not going to work. But in your end, if you are, let's say, creating a portrait, a vector of your portrait, it's going to work very well. Now just click on apply and click on next. An advertisement popped up once again. Click on next and then either save it or post it. Of course, we're going to save it to our device. And that's pretty much how you can make your pictures on your mobile device using PixArt. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.